Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. This is Growing Wisdom, and I know many of you grow tomatoes, and tomatoes have a lot of different diseases. Today, we're at Johnny Selected Seeds. We're going to talk with Susie Anderson about late blight, and that's a disease that a lot of you might have heard about, and we're going to talk about, first of all, what it is, how you can protect your tomatoes against it, and if you get it, what do you do? Susie, good to see you again. Always, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. So, I know uh, late blight's gotten a lot of press lately. Tell me about it. It's a water mold. It's commonly called a fungus, but it actually truly is a water mold. So it needs water to actually sporulate. And it's a disease here in the Northeast that we don't see very commonly. It can be devastating to a homeowner if they get late blight in their tomatoes and don't manage it properly. And it needs a lot of water. So in wet years, it can be more of a problem than in a dry year. Exactly. They don't like dry climates at all. You don't see this commonly where the weather is really dry. What does it look like? If I'm a homeowner, I just see my leaves browning. Is that what it is? Well, that's a start. What you want to do is assess your plants on a daily basis if you can. What you want to look for are the brown spots on the plant. Usually late blight shows up first on a growing point and you'll see the growing point flag and it'll be brown in the new growth and you'll see a white fuzzy area at the advancement of the disease and that's very indicative of late blight. So you said it's a mold? It is a water mold. It's a water mold so it has that moldy look like something that was in your refrigerator too long <laughs> and it's getting the fuzz. It does and it'll look water soaked like this. This is where the lesion first started where it's dry and here where it's wet looking is where the mycelium are advancing and the white fuzzy portion or uh, as I call it the velvet elvis is <laughs> where it actually is sporulating. So the spores are coming up to the surface and the wind is carrying them off to other plants. The fruit that's infected with late blight actually is very distinct. Most diseases the, that infect fruit are squishy and late blight that infects a fruit, it'll look rotten, but it's hard as a rock. Susie, thank you very much. Yeah. A lot of information there about late blight, one of the many diseases that can affect tomatoes, but knowledge is power, and we hope that this has helped you here at Growing Wisdom.